it's unknown in terms of what your percentage risk is. What you're looking at right now is you're looking at, do I accept the fact that we did this as a salvage procedure in order to try to get back on bulls and see how that went? And if it didn't work out, then it didn't work out. Or accept the fact that right now I've got a shoulder that doesn't bother me for daily activities and just retire. It's always been something that I've never really shied away from. I've never, you know, wondered if it was worth it or wondered if this was what I was supposed to be doing. Or I never have any questions like that that roll through my head. But from word go, you know, I bought into that. whatever it was going to take to get back to where I wanted to be. Um, that's what I was going to do. My rhyme don't prove no crime. You can't chain up my rhyme. Lord, you can't chain no rhyme. Murder, oh, what is murder? When you love like her, when you love like her. As a kid, all I wanted to do was just be a cowboy and be a bull rider. That was all there was to it. Um, fast forward a few years, uh, it was one of those things that you're going to set a goal, set it high, and, and I wanted to be remembered as one of, if not the best bull rider of all time. <laughs> you know, now obviously, being a, a family man and having a wife and kid to take care of at home. Um, you know, I, I draw a lot of motivation from them now. I want to be a good influence. I want to be a good role model for him. And um, you know, to do that, I need to put my best foot forward every day. The preparation that goes into getting on a bull, it starts way before, but day of competition. I, I like to get to the arena an hour, hour and a half before the event starts, just to kind of let everything calm down. You get to see the atmosphere, you get to feel everything. At this point in my career, I've got several braces to put on my body that I've beat up over the years. At that point, it's kind of when the emotions start really flooding you. I say my prayer that I say every time. There's a lot of guys that run their engines up as hot as they can go, but I found whenever I'm performing my best, I if I can just get in kind of just a zen state, that's usually when I do the best. What do you think about the world champion? Welcome back, Sage!